Okay, so new little project I've got for myself happening. Um, will it be a complete waste of time, money, effort? Probably. Will I learn something? I hope so. So basically, laptop batteries, I've got access to a couple of hundred of them. Um, so I'm going to try and pull them all down and see, I reckon at least 50% of all these batteries is going to be useless or, you know, it doesn't have the, the right stuff to actually work. I've pulled apart a few so far and they're all been different, so they're not going to look pretty. It'll look like um, Mardi Gras or something, but that's fine by me. So each one of these is 3.7 volts, rated at 3.7 volts at, at 2,250 amp hours. So, dilemma. First dilemma, one of a few I guess, is if I chain gang six of them together I get 22.2 volts and seven I get 25.9 volts. And I would like to be able to use these on my PIP 2424 HS. Don't know if that's possible, don't know if it's even smart, but that's what I'd like to do. So hopefully tomorrow morning I can go and pick up all these other batteries and pull them all apart. Now this will be a long-term process. It is certainly not going to be a short-term process. Pulling each battery part apart is a bit of a messy process at the moment. I'm just ripping them open. I'm not saving any of the PCBs or anything like that. However, they will be going back to the recycling centre. Um, she has told me that she can recover. Um, I don't know what she recovers, but she reckons she it has a value to her. It's very little, but I'd rather give it to a recycler than just throw it in a little wheelie bin here. So I just had a quick look on YouTube at Jahu's um, Samba Bus. And if you haven't seen the Samba Bus, go check it out. I'll try and provide a link down there. He's done this, and these are inspiration, I guess. Inspiration, I guess that's the right word. For doing all this. And I was looking at his stuff and he seems to have a, a bracket made for it. And I got a funny feeling I saw in one of his videos that he actually printed it with a 3D printer. So I thought ah oh, I've run it by the wife. I walked in there and I told her what I was doing and as per usual she didn't really care. But I suggested that I might want to buy a 3D printer so I could actually print a decent housing for this. I have no idea I'm going to hold this together. I mean I'd did think it was just going to be a duct tape job. But if I could get a 3D printer out of the deal, that'd be great. So stay tuned for that. I'm only going to bother. I mean, if I if I get that, it'll be because this project's going to work. It's not going. To, I'm not going to bother if this project's not going to work. And if it fails, it fails. But you know, road trips are fun. I enjoy the I enjoy the ride. So stay tuned. And if you've got any old batteries <laughs> or um, input on how I should set this up or whether it's a dumb idea I guess it's probably a dumb idea just for time and money invested but um, yeah we'll see how this 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 pans out 